much. Good morning. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set up a sterile breast tray for the breast biopsies here at Brigham and Women's under ultrasound guidance. So we have all of our supplies here. Um, we, I will send, you're gonna have a list of pictures um, and a list of items that you're gonna need. Uh, so that's gonna be found separately, but just so you can kind of see all of the items all together that we need, I'm going to start setting up the sterile tray. So I'm gonna take the polyline drapes and I'm going to open those so I can create my sterile fields. My um, tray is clean, so always start with a clean surface. So now these are sterile drapes. Um, anything that, like drapes are rule of thumb, the one inch border around them is not sterile. So yes, I'm touching it, but I'm touching the one inch border around it and we're gonna lay them down. Um, there's also different variations of different supplies. So like for example, these uh, drapes were at one point blue on one side and white on the other. So you would put uh, blue side down, white side up. All right, so I'm gonna carefully open up. that down. Okay, so now I'm going to start dropping all of my supplies. So I have my probe cover. I have my chloroprep. I have my surgical drapes. I have my breast uh, biopsy tray. Twenty cc or twenty ml syringe, and then my ten. And I have this little curad little thing. I don't. That's what I call it. I don't know, but I'll show you where to put that. Okay. So now I'm going to glove up. But the little prep that I did or that Heather did before we started doing this is we have our lidocaine here and ready um, and our saline solution open. So for us here in breast biopsies, we have two um, 5 ml of lido. So we wanna make sure that our lido batch and expiration date are written on the board or somewhere that you can record it so you can document it later. So I have them uncapped and I have my saline open and that's going to be important for when I am sterile and then I go over there to get my lidocaine. So let me put my sterile gloves on. And come on in so we can see. All right, so I'm going to open the breast tray. We don't need this little blue cover. We just need what's inside of it. So I'm gonna get rid of that, set this aside. We don't use the chloroprep. We use the chloroprep that we put down. So we're gonna toss that. These are, this is like a little sponge for our sharps. So I'm gonna take the sticker off the back and just place that right on the tray. That's for when the doctors are using and not using needles, they'll stick them in there when they're done. We're gonna take this and actually put it on this side. So we have gauze on one side and now we're gonna have this little curad, little telfa, that's what it's called, thank you. Telfa, we're gonna put that right in here. Afterwards, I'm gonna put a little piece of tissue paper in here and that's where the radiologist is gonna place their specimen. Um, yeah, so that's that's where that's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna un unveil the surgical drapes. I'm going to open the probe cover. 
And again, we don't need this little blue piece of paper. So our probe cover with our sterile gel and the two elastics that the doctor's gonna use to secure the cover to the probe. You just wanna kind of like lay it all out and make it easy for them. So blood prep is here. Now I'm gonna take my syringes and kind of just get them going, make sure that they're limber. Um, now the syringes, so we have blue and we have pink, right? So the pink is a thicker gauge and the blue is a smaller gauge. So when we're drawing up medications and drawing up saline, we wanna use the thicker gauge needle because it's gonna be easier to draw up. Um, I'm going to draw up my lidocaine first, always lidocaine first, saline second. So I'm gonna use my 10 cc syringe. I'm gonna attach my pink cap needle. I'm going to uncap it. I'm going to take a piece of gauze from the sterile tray. I'm going to inject air and then insert it into the lidocaine bottle, but now I can touch it using the gauze from the sterile tray. So I'm still sterile. And I'm gonna inject air and draw back medication. So inject air, draw back medication. You wanna get every last drop. Now, okay, thank you. That's good. So same thing here, because there are five cc's in the vials, we have to use two of them. So, whoop, sorry. Gonna get every last drop. So now we wanna make sure that there's no air bubbles in here. Heather's very good at doing that. Um, so the reason we don't want air bubbles is because when we, obviously when we see air on ultrasound, it has artifact on it. It, it causes artifact and then we can't see through it. So now I'm gonna go back. This is probably not safe, but it's fine. I'm gonna recap my needle. I'm gonna take it off the lidocaine. I'm gonna put it on the 20 cc syringe. So now my pink cap is on my 20 cc. I'm gonna put my blue cap on my Lido. We want to make sure that our lidocaine, so in the little breast tray um, came these little stickers. So we want to make sure that we label lidocaine on our lidocaine syringe and we're going to label saline on our saline syringe. And I'm going to uncap this. Again, I don't want to put the cap of the needle over here because then it will no longer be sterile. But I'm gonna draw up. This doesn't have to be an exact, like a precise measurement. It's just, this is what the radiologist is gonna to use to flush the sample of the specimen. So when they get the specimen into their like tray of the needle, they're gonna use it to kind of wash it off in the Tefla little area over here. Um, this, there's another little sticker that says alcohol. This we would use if Dr. Mason were doing biopsies. If Dr. Mason were doing biopsies, everything is status quo. However, these gauze, this gauze is gonna come out and you're gonna pour alcohol in this little box right here. And you're gonna put your alcohol sticker here. Um, that's how she likes it. Everyone's gonna be different, but as long as you get the gist of it, I mean, it's totally fine. So we have our saline, lidocaine, uh, chloroprep, probe cover, sterile drapes, needles for needles, and then we have where our specimen goes. And now I'm gonna take this sterile drape and protect our sterile field. And that is it. Thank you.